Hey everybody, this is uh, part one of constructing geometric sequences. So we've done arithmetic sequences before. This one's called a geometric sequence. So an explicit rule for a geometric sequence, or for any sequence, it defines the nth term. So a couple of modules ago, we did uh, what was called arithmetic sequences, where we went like plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, or plus seven, plus seven, or we could have you know, subtracted some numbers. So arithmetic sequences, um, uh, had this rule right here. I don't know if you remember. So it went to this is our nth term right here. So our nth term equals our first term plus d, where d was how much we added when we went to the right. They call it the common difference. And then uh, the d times n minus 1 right there. Okay. Geometric sequences follows this rule right here. So here's our nth term. So we talked about this in our last lesson, equals our first term times r to the n minus 1 power, where uh, this is our first term and r is our ratio, how much it gets multiplied as we go to the right, okay? Recursive rules defines the nth term of a sequence in terms of one or more of the previous terms. So for example, here's a rule right here. What kind of rule does this look like? Can you see that this looks like this one right here? It looks like an explicit um, uh, geometric rule right here where this f of 1 is this 6 right here. Here's r to the n minus 1 pattern right here. So this is a definite geometric sequence right here. There's no plus signs right here like this arithmetic one right here. Okay, so so th here's a rule for this geometric sequence right here. Okay, so, so uh, the given rule is, let me just slide that up right there, it's an explicit rule because we don't need to know the value of this is our, our previous term. If f of n is our nth term, then f of n minus 1 is the term right before that. Think of this, here's f of, think right here, this is f of 5, this would be f of 6, this would be f of 7. Well, think of f of 7. Well, f of 7 minus minus 1 would be f of 6. So this f of n minus 1 is our previous term. And since we don't need to know the previous term, they gave us this formula right here. This is called an explicit rule. Okay, the only unknown in, in, in this expression is uh, n, which is, because um, we know what r is, r is that 3 halves. It's going times 3 halves, times 3 halves. 6 times 3 halves, or times 1.5, that's what 3 halves is, is 9. 9 times 1.5 is 13.5. 13.5 times 1.5 is 20.25. Okay, so the only unknown in this expression is n, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, which, um, which represents uh, the term number. So say I wanted to find f of 6, then I'd plug in 6 right here, so 6 minus 1 would be 5, so my 6 term would be whatever 6 times 3 halves to the 5th power is. All right, so the sequence is a geometric sequence because each term is the product of the previous term times 3 halves. And if you don't see that yet, don't worry. We'll unwind this in just a second right here. And I'm going to start abbreviating, you guys. GS is going to be geometric sequence and AS is arithmetic sequence. So how can we tell if the difference, uh, the difference between a geometric sequence and an arithmetic sequence? Well, arithmetic sequences uh, they always always involve addition or subtraction, and geometric sequences always involve multiplication or division. Okay, so how can we tell by looking at a function uh, rule for a sequence whether it's recursive? Okay, recursive, we'll find out a uh, rule is recursive when they give us the first term uh, and it appears as part of the rule. And then your rule will always have the term of the previous term, which is f of n minus 1. It may even include the previous term before the previous term, which is f of n minus 2. But typically, they'll say like f of 1 equals 6, and then f of n equals f of 1 times r for n greater than or equal to 2. I'll show you all this in just a second here. So here, let's do it right here. So write a recursive rule and an explicit rule for the geometric sequence. So here we go. Here's a table. I think this was um, uh, Japanese swords on how they made swords and they folded metal. And so that's what this is right here. So here's a table that shows the number of layers depending on the number of folds. Okay. So if they had one fold, it had two layers. If it had two folds, it had four layers. If it, think of a piece of paper and you keep folding it in half. Three folds would get eight layers and so on. So four folds is 16. Five folds is 32. Now this is a geometric sequence. Can you see? Here's the terms. This is term one, term two, term three, term four, term five. 
Here is, look at this, this goes times two, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16, times two is 32. So as it goes to the right, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's being multiplied by two. So to write a recursive rule we, and an explicit rule, we need to find r. So r is righty divided by lefty, so we pick any two numbers. I like the smallest one, four divided by two is two. There's r right there, okay? And then the first term is right here. The first term equals two right here. So for a recursive formula, all terms after that are two times that. So um, f of two, which is our second term, is two times f of one. So it's two times this one here f of 3 is 2 times f of 2 and then so f of 4 is it's just 2 times the previous term right there and so on right there so a recursive rule always gives the first term so here's the first term f of 1 equals 2 and it always gives a, a rule of the successive term so it always includes the previous term that's what this is okay so recursive rules they give you the first term and then they, the, the nth term is defined as the previous term times r, okay, where n is greater than or equal to 2. And the reason why it says n is greater than or equal to 2 is because here's where n is 1. f of 1 is they always give you the first term. So this is starting with your second term, your third term. n is the number of terms right there. Okay, so an explicit rule is found by the formula we talked about in the last lesson. So f of n equals the first term times r to the n minus 1. Well, there's the first term. That 2 is going to go right there. And then since r is 2, then this is going to be 2 to the n minus 1 right there, okay? So there it is right there, 2 times 2 to the n minus 1. Now we'll simplify that later, okay? So write a recursive rule and an explicit rule for this one right here, okay? So here's uh, n equals 1. This is our first term, our second term, our third term, our fourth term, our fifth term right there, okay? So... Um, uh, our first term equals 5, our second term equals 15. All right, so we got to find r on both of this. So always find r. So our recursive rule, we have to list what our first term is. Our first term equals 5, and then we, it's going to be um, uh, f of n. Uh, so always list your first term, and then your f of n is going to be your previous term times r. Okay, and this n greater than or equal to 2 says it's, it's past the first term. This just says your second term, your third term, your fourth term, all the way up to all your terms right there. So recursive rules, uh, they have us give us the, the first term, and then uh, f of n is your previous term times r. Okay? All right, so uh, the explicit rule is easier, I think, you guys. Um, I'd just rather stick with the explicit rule, but this book likes it uh, recursive, which is all right. It's not that hard. You just got to you know, get used to how to write it. The recursive is write the first rule, and then everything is... Uh, the previous term times r, whereas the explicit is a, here's the first term times uh, r to the n minus 1 power, okay? So it's the first term times r to the n minus 1. Get used to this formula right here, you guys. Uh, you're going to be using it for the rest of this uh, module anyway. So explain why the sequence 5, 10, 20, 40, 80 appears to be geometric. Well, check it out. It's going times 2, times 2, times 2. So since we're multiplying by 2, uh, then it's going to be a, um, a geometric sequence. So how can we use the properties of exponents to simplify this explicit rule? So we had this rule before, so 2 times 2 to the n minus 1. Think of there's a little imaginary 1 right there, 2 to the first. So we can write that as, as 2 to the first, here it is right here, times 2 to the n minus 1, and then from algebra class or, or integrated math 1, the first semester, we add these exponents, okay? So if we add 1 plus n minus 1, that's just going to, the, the ones are going to cancel. This blue one and this pink one are going to cancel. So um, it simplifies to 2 to the n. Okay, so I like that better. All right, so for each geometric sequence, write a recursive rule and an explicit rule. Okay, so your book will say for the general rules, the values of, of n are consecutive integers starting at 1. That just means your first term, your second term, your third term, and so on. So when it says n starts at 1, that's all that means. So, so here's n equals 1 right there. It means our first term. Here's our second term. Here's our third term. Okay, so here's our first term. What's r? Righty divided by lefty. So r is going to be 4 right there. So, okay. So uh, for the recursive rule, we list the first term. So f of 1 equals 6. And then f of n... 
f of n is going to equal f of n minus 1 times r, okay? So, so, and then here's the explicit rule right there, okay? So just plug them in right there, and there's your answers right there, okay? Let's try it again with this one here, okay? Find r, there's our first term, there's our formulas right there, and you plug them in, and that's what you get right there, okay? All right, and the real common error right here, you guys, is kids want to multiply those. You can't because this has a different exponent than this one right here. If they had the same exponent, you could, but when they don't, you cannot multiply those. All right, you guys, if you're in my class, I would assign that. Take care.